Ed, a few years back, do you remember I came to Leicester and you had sliced your finger oh, God, doing yeah. some extreme cooking? Yeah, yeah, I had. And now here we are, obviously you're in a very different place and I'm kind of wishing that we were still talking about the, the sliced finger. Well, we are, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still here. That's the most important thing, obviously. We talk about MND and lifespan, and more than half of people die within two years. I'm not at two years yet, but obviously progressing. My speech has gone downhill. My walking's slow, my hands aren't working as much, and you know, I've had a real battle the last few months. We're talking about just over a year ago doing that bike ride. And you rode 350 miles. Yeah, yeah. And now so, the, the concept of that is nuts. Well, I think if you blew me, I'd fall over. I just can't imagine how infuriating it must be for you, oh, as a as a you know an elite athlete, to, to not have your body working properly. Yeah, yeah, very frustrating, especially when you think you know you spend your day not thinking about moving around, about getting in the car or whatever it may be. So to suddenly have to double think about whether you go to the toilet, whether you walk into the kitchen. Really frustrating. My current battle is knowing that I'm physically declining and continuing to put myself out there. So I need the help of equipment. I definitely need the help of my wife, but you know, when I look at myself, I keep saying, if I hide away and don't go out in public or don't turn out to rugby games because I've got some sort of weird, false shame about it, ultimately, you know, I look at myself and say, you've got a bit more courage about you. Do you feel a kind of anger about what's happened to you? There are times when you naturally drift off to times before this all happened. You know, you want to be the dad you, you expected, planned out to be. And so the anger is frustration at not being able to do it how you want to do it. What about fear? Are you, are you fearful? The fear is lack of control. The fear of not being able to know if, um, The conversations me and Joe have, you know, we talk about the future. Kids-wise, we're very open with them. Kids are inquisitive, aren't they? They want to ask you questions. And sometimes those questions are very to the point that adults avoid at times, you know, it's still uncomfortable. We're blessed with great friends around us. Billy, 12 trees comes over, mows the lawn, sweeps the leaves up, puts stuff on the wall, sits with me. And annoyingly, he's very good looking <laughs> and in good shape. So when he comes round, if we got help over, they were always like, who's that long guy? <laughs> and obviously I've got my best friend Fraser Balmain, who's there for a good time, so a laugh. It's like a release valve. It really brings out the best in people and you start to see the best in some people as well that you didn't know about before. So it opens your eyes in many different respects. Ed, thanks so much for having us over. Really Cheers, lovely man. chat and we're looking forward to seeing you at Kim Summer in the next few weeks. Thanks for having me, mate. Thank you.